I get asked all the time why I use data attributes to select elements in JavaScript instead of just using classes, and there are two main reasons I do this. Number one is it gives me a good separation between my JavaScript and my CSS. For example, if I use this container class in my CSS and my JavaScript, and then later I decide to change this class name to make a style different, for example, it may end up breaking my JavaScript because I may forget to change it in my JavaScript since I'm only focusing on CSS. So by using class names in CSS and data attributes in JavaScript, I make sure that when I make a change to a class name, I only have to worry about the CSS and not the JavaScript. Now, the other reason that I like to use data attributes inside of JavaScript is they can convey much more information. I can select all the elements with a pending status by using this query selector, and to change my status, it's one line of code. But with classes, I need to make sure I have all the other classes removed before I can add the correct class. So doing this with classes is way more difficult to store this type of custom state-based information, so using classes for this is just a bad idea.